I'm Cliff Montero, I'm president of the NAACP Providence Branch, and I'm a director on the New England Area Conference of the NAACP. Uh, today, more than 70 branches of the NAACP presented letters to their Fox affiliates or Fox stations throughout this country. And um, those branches were also to have a press conference to state what they did. We're very, very fortunate in Rhode Island that we're joined by Reverend Donald Anderson, Mr. Charles Wilson, Mr. George Lemer, Mr. Langley from the Urban League, our second and first vice president, and we have Melvin Graham, who is a retired federal law enforcement official. This morning at roughly 10.15, we met with Mr. Jay Howell, who is the general manager of WNAC, TV and also Channel 12 WPRI. Now what we're trying to do is give you a letter um, because what we're concerned about and we included in there an article on um, the two pictures with the president and the monkey being trapped at a policeman. And we're asking Mr. Murdoch to fire the editor and fire the cartoonist. And we would hope that uh, uh, your organization would support that position. Well, we explained to Mr. Howell that the NAACP nationally um, last week picketed uh, the New York Post, and I was a part of that for two days last Thursday and last Friday. Um, and we had hundreds of people, I think it was thousands of people involved. <coughs> the NAACP's position is that the cartoon is, is an assassination attempt on the President of the United States. We feel that it is economic lynching. And we want to have the editor of um, po the New York Post uh, replaced, and we want the cartoonists uh, replaced. We're asking all of the Fox affiliates to communicate with their supervisors and state their position, state our position. We feel it's critical that in a time that we're all talking about unity in America, that we have positive, positive leadership from. Uh, newspapers and television stations. I just briefly want to say here today that uh, for those of you who have had the opportunity to see the cartoon to juxtapose law enforcement against what clearly is intended to be the President of the United States depicted as a monkey is absolutely repugnant and repulsive. We certainly want to encourage the exchange of good ideas and differences in uh, philosophy and approach to different social problems. That's wonderful, but this type of depiction is over uh, the line. We feel that it's degrading, it's insulting to every American uh, that we would have such a depiction of uh, our president in the course of such critical times. And as already been stated, I think that all of us are trying to work in a way in which we can come together and face the issues that stand before our country. Certainly as people of faith, I represent primarily uh, mainline Protestant churches, but I think people of any faith tradition would look at this cartoon and be as repulsed by it as we are. And we certainly would join the NAACP in calling upon the authorities in Fox to really look at this and to not only um, apologize, but to really make a commitment to thinking about how they approach social dialogue and the fact that they will not uh, step over this kind of line that I think most people would consider to be a gross violation and just an abuse of the freedom of the press. I agree that the article is insulting and, and suggestive to, to people who are on the fringe in, 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 in the broad community. Uh, I, I mentioned recently that someone in, in, in Brockton uh, shot three black people and said the next thing he was going to do was shoot some Jews. And, and we, we don't need that kind of a suggestion to the general public. I think it was a very poor taste. The National Association of Black Law Enforcement Officers, of which I am the national chair, concurs with the NAACP and all others who have felt uh, slandered, demeaned, and discriminated by this outrageous display uh, of racial insensitivity. This should be unacceptable 
not only by members of, of communities of color, but by every community in this country. It is unconscionable and unthinkable that any editor would allow this type of, of material to be published. The Urban League uh, deemed the implied caricature in the journal as inappropriate at a time when we ought to be sensitive towards each other. Implied messages of that type should not be sent out to the public. I think we ought to be a lot more conscious about what we do, how we do it, and when we do it, so that we don't send messages that individuals might think, well, it's open season for inflicting pain and destroying others, whether it be verbally or physically. We feel that the leadership should be a lot more sensitive in what they allow to leave their printing press to go to the public. Too many implied messages are given in caricatures that could be damning and destructive not only to communities but also to individuals. And we feel that that was unacceptable and in the future they need to do much better in what they send and the messages they're sending to the public. Our, our fear, you know, when we talk about President Obama running for office, people were concerned about death threats and a concern about his well-being. And now, in, in <coughs> here he is, not even two months in office, and we have something that uh, waves the flag of uh, it's acceptable to make these comments. Uh, I support uh, First Amendment rights, but to me, this is calling fire in a full theater. Uh, this goes beyond First Amendment. This is irresponsible journalism, which is electronic lynching. An effort by 70 uh, NAACP branches across the country, uh, is it the same message? Uh, I've been affiliated with the NAACP for over 50 years, and I've never seen anything like this this week. Um, we had telephone conversations, telephone conference calls, and each one of us were given uh, an opportunity to express our frustration, our concerns. All of us were asked to deliver a letter. We could write the type of letter that we wanted, but it was on point with <coughs> the cartoon. It was unacceptable. It was an, it was a, a, as an endanger to our pre 44th president. And when the two articles were side by side, that he was signing the stimulation bill, and this article uh, talks about who's going to do it after with, it, with the dead monkey. There are a lot of things that need to be addressed in our country. And many people in the telephone conversation said, why aren't we talking about employment? Why aren't we talking about housing? We felt that this was a critical issue, that when you put danger on the life of the President of the United States, that has to be the number one issue. Mm -hmm. But we're also very happy that this is not just the NAACP. This is nationally a joint effort by the NAACP, the Urban League, the faith-based organization, and even here, we've got a former Tuskegee Airman, and we also have a man in law enforcement. People in law enforcement are upset about this because it puts them in an unfavorable position. We've fought for years to have professionalism from law enforcement officials and somebody has put them in a very negative light. And I don't think that that's even favorable to law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So we're asking for um, diversity in the newsroom. Uh, we're happy to hear that some of them have scholarships. And we will be visiting um, uh, at a later date to find out what progress we've made on um, the request that we've made.